the next day I said I was gonna sleep in and I did just that so uh, today has been pretty hectic so far it's about 3 in the afternoon got up at 11:30. I had a uh, optometrist appointment at 12 did that got some new contact lenses um, ordered some new glasses because last night I fucking sat on my glasses and snapped them uh, which is coincidental because the next day I had this appointment so anyway chose some new glasses um, and luckily with my health insurance the benefits come in at the start of each year the start of each calendar year so I've got another 400 bucks to spend on optical uh, care and that will cover most of that cost so that's fantastic uh, we did that and what else what else what else what else we've done some washing I've cleaned up the house a bit um, I've had a shake my morning smoothie and you know I'd mentioned in, in a pr previous video about how I was feeling sick in the mornings um, and you know my appetite was struggling and, and that and um, that was at the point where I said you know what fuck it I'm at a plateau I have to start tracking things to make sure I'm in a surplus and to make sure that I'm going to continue making gains because you know if I was if I was only hitting 3,000 calories a day, I wouldn't expect to put on weight, not at the weight that I am now. But if I was hitting 4,000 calories a day, I certainly would expect to be still putting on weight. So at that point, um, I decided to start tracking my macros, and that's exactly what we did. So we started tracking macros. Now, I would use my phone, but my phone is recording me, so I've written my macros for the last two weeks on this board. And I'm really, I'm proud of myself to be honest because you know, it, it does take commitment to put in every single thing you eat or drink into something like this and keep it consistent, it really does. And I am not the best at that, but I did a full two week food log, which I've done plenty of times before, but you know, I did the full two weeks. When you're bulking, it's, it's, it's easier just to say, oh no, I'll just eat that, oh no, I'll just eat that, or you know, that's, that's 500 calories or that's 1,000 calories. Um, I knew that if I wanted to break this plateau, I needed to hold myself accountable, so that's what I've done. So, with that being said, we started tracking on the 4th of January. Today is the 19th, so it's just past two weeks. So, the 4th of January, I started tracking, um, just give us a sec. And by the end of the, the week, the 10th of January, we had macros at, and like what I'll say guys is that I did track everything, but I never, I never like at the end of the night looked at that day and said, "All right, I'm at 300 carbs, I'm at 200 protein. I I need 100 more carbs and 50 more protein." I never really looked at it like that. I just, for example, I'd make up bulk food, um, and and eat that, you know, and enter it all on one particular day. So that day might have fucking nine or ten thousand calories on it. But I know that if I just you know pick at that food throughout the next three days, it'll average out to be about three and a half thousand per day, and it'll be fine. So I never actually looked at any of these macros or details until the end of the week, because I wanted to continue eating intuitively like I was, but then also have the data to back up uh, why I why I was at the plateau and why I wasn't gaining weight. Now. I will say that I, I was definitely struggling with my appetite coming into this, and that is still the case. You know, I 4,000 calories in a day used to be easy. It's not right now. So, it, like a couple of meals here and there were sort of force-fed, but I knew that I needed to to reach that 4,000 calorie mark per day to to make sure that I fucking continue putting on weight, man, because that's what I want to do. So, with that said, the first week. I mean, I'm pretty pleased with these macros. I, I feel like these are the kind of macros I've been following the whole entire time without even knowing it. Um, and they're certainly you know, the, at the, the ratios that I want to be at. So we've got the first week, protein 247 a day, carbs 420 a day, 420. <laughs> Fat 136. We've got sugar at 128 and fiber at 43 for a total calorie count of 3,999 per day. 
Now that is pretty much ideal for me. The only thing I'd like to change is I'd like to reduce the amount of sugar that I'm eating. Uh, even more so in the second week. So that was the first week. The second week was pretty much the same to be honest. Protein 237, carbs 482, fats 125, uh, sugar 161 which is very very high and fibre was slightly lower at 31 with a total calorie count of 4039. 4, so basically guys, protein's been about 240, carbs been about 450 and fats been about 130. Sugars around about 150 and fibre around about 40 and my calorie can calorie count in total is around about 4,000. So I haven't really included any cardio. I have done probably about 10,000 steps a day regardless, just because of my job. So I don't know how many calories that'll be burning, but it will be a few. So I feel like even though I'm taking in 4,000 calories with a, an intense weight training session most days, as well as doing 10,000 steps, I feel like I may not be putting on weight still. I've, you know, I, I, I have weighed myself throughout the weeks, throughout the last couple of weeks, and it's it's honestly about the same. But we are going to do a, a proper weigh-in today. Uh, anything above 103, and I'll be happy. I want to consistently be seeing 103 kgs on the scale. Uh, haven't been for a long time, and that's where I want to, where I really want to get to. So, obviously, 110 is the is the end goal, the major goal. But I certainly think that it's going to be hard. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to get to 110 kg, especially with some you know form of uh, abs and a few cuts, because there's no way I want to lose that completely. So, with that said, I'm going to put on my fake Yeezys, <laughs> which I'm stoked with. <laughs> I've got to say, and um, we've got the oatmeal singlet an extra large which will go very well with my Team Massive Joe's ah, performance tights and dry fit shorts so this is probably this this would be honestly one of my favorite gym outfits to be fair something dark on the bottom and something light on the top with uh, tights I really like tights and um, yeah that's it that's it, man. So we've done two weeks of my fitness pal. It was a success. I'm not going to continue doing it because it's a fucking hassle, and I don't really like doing it. So, so if if anything, those were the macros I've been following for most of this last 22, 23, 24 weeks. Um, and and here we are. Here we are, guys. What the fuck was that? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. Thanks for joining me. The last clip, the final clip of this video will be me at the gym uh, doing a weigh-in. And um, until next time, have a great day. Train hard. Eat well. And if you're on a cut or you're on a bulk or you, 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 you know, you're just trying to change your physique, um, the one thing I say to people, well, two things I say. There's a, there's a huge cliche. Um, it's not a marathon. It's not a marathon. It's not a sprint. Fuck! <laughs> it's a marathon. Your journey, your fitness journey, your journey of, of uh, you know, physical development is a marathon, not a sprint. And one thing I'd, I do like to say to people is don't count the days make the days count. I've got people come to me all the time, you know, complaining about how they look and, and they're already thinking 12 weeks or, or 16 weeks down the track, thinking how hard it's going to be to get there. And all I, all I want to say is, don't think of it like that. Don't count the days to go. Just wake up every day and make that day count. Don't count the days, make the days count. Do what you can on that day do, do everything you can at the best of your ability to get yourself closer to that end goal. There is absolutely no 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 point in thinking about a, a goal that's so far away like that when it, all that's going to do is take away from your 
uh, focus on on today. You know, and and to get there, you need to do everything you can on a daily basis to get to the end goal. So, I'll leave you with that, and I'll see you at the gym. Peace. Reaching out